This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. I tried so hard and got so far. And now let's work on this kind of comment section with Laravel Livewire. When I type something here and then hit on this add button, I need to add this comment into the comment list we have below. Let's see how we are going to do this. So firstly, this is created with uh, Tailwind CSS and this is all about the stylings and you will get on the GitHub repo, everything is available there. Then what I'm going to do next, uh, first you can see we have this, which is actually hard coded here. Isn't it cool? We can get this from the Laravel end and that we can loop over all the comments we have. So I have already created a component called uh, comments by using this uh, command and you already know how to create this and that has created two file which is uh, livewire comments and uh, which on which I have this uh, comment section and associated the livewire comments.php file where we are just returning this uh, blade file which is a component and I have used this inside my welcome.blade just like previously we have Laravel livewire or simply at livewire comments. One more thing if you are on Laravel 7 you can just use this and instead of this you can simply say comments and this is the name of your component and that should go like this. It's not working because now I need to say live wire and it's a live wire component and that's good. Similarly, you can also do here live wire colon scripts. So scripts like this and live wire styles. Very nice. And now everything is working as it was. So let's move everything, the comments on our comments.php component. So let's create a public variable called comments and here inside this, I will add my comments. So this is an array, array of various comments. So first we have the comment body. So body will be the same we have here. So we can copy it from there and paste it then we have created at that goes three minute ago then at last we have the creator or the user who has created so let's say Sarthak and then we can because this is a public variable it is easily available on our live wire component that means the blade so first let's remove everything so here we have and here we have so I have removed everything so name is gone time is gone everything is gone and now I can simply use for each loop and inside that I can say comments as comment and let's close the for each and for each loop then I can in, in the place of name I can say comment and we have a creator and that should go like this. So now we have a Sarthak here. Then we just need to add one more for comment created at and finally comment body. Very nice. We have done that. And now the next task is when I click on this add button, I need to append a new comment into this list of the comments. And because all the comments are coming from the Laravel end, you can see we have this list of the comment. We just need to add one more comment into this array. And that we know because we said we need to click. That means there should be some click event. So wire click and I can say add comment and this comment the add comment is 
a function or a method on our comment.php component. So here, anywhere, you can create a public function called add comment. And here, I can simply say this arrow comments, then adding a new comment. And I, for now, just I copy everything from there, paste it like this, call it new one, one minute ago, and new comment. Okay, so let's try this. So when we click on this ad, so there is a wire click event that is simply a click event, and then that will trigger add comment on component of comments.php file. Okay, let's refresh and click. You, you can see it's now adding it. Isn't it cool? We can add it at the first. So then you just need to say array unshift. And in that, you can say the array is comments and the data is this one, like here. In that case, we don't need this. That's great. Refresh. And now it's adding at the center. Okay. So next, what we need, we need to add whatever we uh, type here that will go into the comment, not the hard coded thing. For now, we can assume that there's a logged in user called bitfume set time is always one minute. And let's try this. So we need to bind the data of this input field. So let's create a new variable. And again, that should be a public called new comment. And this is just a simple variable. And we are going to bind this new comment with this input field and wire model is the way to bind it we can say we have a wire model of new comment so every time the value of input field is changed you have a new comment changing and that should reflect here for just now to show you how this is going to work i can just echo out this here just above the input field so refresh it is here and now i can say hi I am new comment you can see it is now echoing out and every time I hit some new keyword here inside this you can see we are calling an Ajax request that should be great and next we need to move this comment into the comment list so because now we have the new comment into the new comment variable we can simply push it here on this body part. So body is this arrow new comment like this. And we can also use carbon here because this is a basically larval. So we can use anything here. <laughs> so that should be great. And then diff for humans. Cool. Let's try this. Refresh it and live wire is really awesome click on add and you can see it is saying one second ago live wire is really awesome and everything is without any refresh because it's doing all the javascript ajax everything by its own next task is we need to clear this one when we add the new uh, comment so it's very easy actually when we have done this we just need to say this uh, new comment is equal to empty that's great and once again live wire is really really awesome and one nice smiley for this click and yes, it is now empty and you can see we have this and this is super, super great thing with the use of Laravel Livewire. One problem you may face or you feel like it is not good is as soon as you type here, how many number of key down you have, that should reflect the number of Ajax request. If you type a little slowly, even if a space bar and whatever you call you have a 18 19 request just for writing this isn't it bad thing yeah but we can have a 
tool to handle this also in Laravel Livewire. Let's go to the documentation on this properties part. You can see if I go data binding is there. We are binding the data and that's why it is hitting the Ajax. And every time you want to have the Ajax request only after half a second, then you can say where model dot debounds dot the time. And if you are not giving any time, it will be 150 by default. So let's use it. And here I am. So we have this input field. In this input field, we are having this wire model. And in this wire model, I can simply say wire model dot and that says debounce debounce dot 500 milliseconds. Okay, let's try once more. Refresh this. And I can say as soon as you can see now it's giving the request only after 500 millisecond after 500 millisecond and if I see you can have the request just five request by writing all these and if I type very fast and when I stop writing then after 500 millisecond it is giving a single request that's good that's very good actually okay one more thing is there <laughs> you can see we are giving this for having a 500 millisecond but you can also define lazy updating lazy updating is when input box lost its focus then only it's going to give the ajax request let me show this and we just need to say wire model lazy so now instead of debounce 500 I can say lazy cool go here refresh the page and now I can say as soon as I lost the focus and you have seen that I'm stopped typing I'm not writing anything and still it's not giving any Ajax request as soon as I click outside you can see now we have an Ajax request and I think this is the very very nice thing because now let's refresh once more and I can say I am new comment and what if I click here so it should give a one request to set it and then another request to add it into the new list and I'll click the outside <laughs> so I am new comment and click on add so we have two requests one to set the data of this to new comment variable and then second is to really add it and that's exactly working and that is very very nice now we have solved two problem one more is that uh, isn't it cool if we have a form instead of this just button and input field so we can convert this div into form and then we have a wire click of uh, this add button instead of that we can simply say wire submit and then I can say add comment and now I can remove this add here and I can call this button as a type of submit so it's going to submit the form let's see what's going to happen I'm not writing anything and I click on add but it has refreshed the page it has actually submit the form we need to prevent the submission because we are calling with ajax request we use live wire once again if you can see here where is that i can just type submit it's not available here on the action yeah on the action you can find submit and we have a wire submit also you can say wire submit dot prevent so it prevent its default action okay so we have this wire submit then add comment then i can say wire submit dot prevent and if you are familiar with vue.js you feel these things are familiar cool so now if i go and if i click on add you can see it's added empty list but i can prevent it and if i say here if this dot new comment is empty then just return do nothing and i can close this line here okay let's try this once more refresh add it 
it's not doing anything that's great but I type and I can say uh, after converting to form click and yeah that comment is now added wow very nice this means because this is a form I can use the enter instead of adding on this so I can say I am a new comment let's try this hit enter and yeah I am new comment is added here that's again a very very nice thing to create something which is closer to Laravel we need to have the model then we have a migration and doing some real kind of stuffs with Laravel Livewire so for that I have created the model comment and I have the comment migration also so the migration is holding two important thing which is body and the user ID because we have the user ID so we need a relationship to the user so on this comment model this is a model remember this is a model and I have created a relationship which is getting the user and I call this relationship as a creator if you want you can use user in that case you don't have to specify the column name but I like to have a creator here that's cool and what I did behind the scene also I have migrated and you can see I have zero comments here and one user so one user is Sarthak so let's use the tinker so I can say php artisan tinker and then I can create a new comment so I can create a comment by using comment colon colon create with the body of this is first comment and the user id of one because I have a user with the id of one if I now hit enter you can see it says now one comment is created and that should reflect in our database yeah this is first comment you can also find comment by first id so let's clear it and okay so that's uh, id of three and then we can also find the creator like here so what happened we want to show that comment from the database into this card okay so now i will come back to our laravel live wire component which is comments.php in this comment.php i will going to create a new mounted function so now let's go here and here we have a mounted function so or method you call whatever you want to call so mounted method is as the name suggests it will call as soon as the component mounts so here anywhere you can create a simple method called mount and in this mount let's say I will add some value to the new comment so I can say this new comment is I am from mounted function like this now if I re refresh this you can see it is now filled with this text which I have defined here this proof that mount works as soon as the component loads but we don't want to do this here we want to have the data from the database okay so remember this is a component which is actually used inside our welcome.blade.php in this welcome.blade.php here we have a live wire comments now we can pass some prop just like a Vue.js prop yeah just like that we can pass the props so I can say comments is some comments and that should be like here so comments if I do this this means this is a uh, prop and this is the value of the prop now if I refresh this page it's not affecting anything because now I can catch this comments I have here here so I can say comments or whatever you want to call and then I can say this dot new comment is equal to whatever the comments we pass from there reload this page and now you can see we have a comments and I can say I am props uh, coming from welcome page <laughs> lots of text and that reflect here 
This means whatever we pass here, we can catch that thing in our mount function as a parameter here and then we can use that whatever the way we want. Okay, so instead of just passing this uh, long string, I really want to pass the comments from the database. In that case, what I can do, I can go to the web.php file and here we are having this welcome view and I can grab all the comments. So I can say comments is equal to comment all and then I can use the compact method to pass the comments. And this means now this comments variable is available here and now I can say dollar comments. When I say dollar comment, this means we are having the comment data, whatever we uh, get from this uh, comment all. Now let's die dump comments we get and refresh. Now it says access denied. Okay, so I have actually connected the database. So if I open .env file, I have connected, but I have not restarted the server. So restart the server and then refresh once more and this time it says dollar comments hmm it's having some problem let's so search here how i can okay so i need to bind it so remember vue.js if you know uh, you need to say this colon that make it binded and make it dynamic so when you say colon and then the prop name i call it prop so prop name and then the comment then it's going to render it and then pass it okay now refresh not this <laughs> refresh this one and yeah you can see now we have a collection and we are getting this collection because we are die dump on this mount wow is it going to be a great thing because we have this comments this is a public one this is a public comments and this one is the comment we are getting from the welcome page okay so I can call it all comments or initial comment. Yeah, this is a good name. So initial comment, I call it and I call it initial comment. I call it initial comment. And now I will fill this comments with the initial comments. And then I can simply remove these things like here. Now, every data is coming from the welcome page. And now if I refresh, it has all these things we just need to render it correctly so let's open comment.blade.php and because this is now a collection instead of doing this i can say comment creator arrow name because these are object or collection then i can say like this created at and this is now become the body wow this is great and you can define it here because once more this everything is um, real php so you can use diff for humans here and refresh and yes yeah, six minutes ago cool wow super super nice thing so we have used this mount and we have passed the value from here to here okay if you don't want to pass the data from this welcome page one thing more you can do instead of having this comment from here and passing it here you can use the same like here so initial comments will be comment all and i'm not accepting anything and i need to import this one okay so comment all and then we are um, initializing it and uh, have all the comments uh, which are getting from the database let's refresh and still it's working fine because now we are querying on the mount event so now our component is clean welcome page is clean and we don't have to pass anything on the welcome page now it's up to you whether you want to pass the data from here or in some case you may want to pass or you can just write it like this now things are becoming interesting you know why 
because now we need to add the new command directly into the database but this is not going to work so i can say this is not working and let's add yeah you can see it's ha having some problem it says unshift expected one to be array we are giving object hmm so we have some problem now what we need to do we can firstly create a new comment here when we add a comment okay so first i can say comment then create and then creating with the body of we know this arrow comments then we need to give the user id and that should be defaulted to one for now this will give the new comment I say new comment like this and then we have this thing but now instead of this this uh, unshift array we don't want to use this unshift array we just want to push this uh, comments and because this comments is now a collection collection of com comment all so we need to use this comment and we can say simply arrow this arrow comments arrow push because now we know this is a collection and pushing a new comment and after that new comment should be uh, I think there is a conflict conflict with this new comment and this new comment so I can say instead of new comment I can say created comment and created comment will go like here and will fill uh, empty out the new comment that is coming from the input field let's try this one and refresh once more and this should work and click still it's having problem it says must uh, collection must be a string value that error is coming okay because of this this should be the new comment body is should be the new comment okay so new comment we have problem it says undefined variable and that should be this arrow new comment and make it in line and next delete this one so that we can have a fresh only one so now one is there this should and this so this this should should work click and yeah it is added but again it's added at the last we can simply make it like prepend uh, prepend and let's try once more because now it is added here and we can say with prepend is it prepend going to work yeah it is working yeah that's good one more thing we can sort it like we can say latest and then get so now we have the latest one at the first wow cool next we we can see we have here and anyone can write anything like i can grab this much text and user can give any amount of text like you can see i'm pasting 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 and this is a long list of text that should be a that could be a spam so we need to validate things and let's validate in real time or using laravel live wire only let's work on the validation using laravel live wire here we have two problem with this input feed one is anyone can give all the long text and it is still going to save it next we can submit the empty form and you can see we have actually prevented by just giving this if statement this is working but still it's not giving any feedback so why not use the validation and if i send an empty form then it should return some error just like a normal validation yeah so normal laravel validation is going to work inside any component of live wire so here also and instead of this I can just say this validate and the field you have here which is the new comment which we will uh, set so new comment I can say this is required 
okay so we have done that and we have this new comment which is wired with the lazy new comment and now if I try to hit add you can see nothing is happening although if I can open the network tab you can see we are giving a request but it is not doing anything but what we need yeah this means validation is working it is not going outside this validation or after this validation and it is stopped here that's good but we need to show error also okay so we can simply use the blade directive of at error to show the error so let's copy this and go on this and just above the form I can show it and I can make it text red 500 and text extra small so whenever we have a new comment then I can show the message for that particular error otherwise not okay that's good go here and click on add now you can see we are giving this post request with uh, data previous data and on the action we can see we have uh, method of add comment but we are not sending anything new comment is null because new comment is null it is giving us the uh, result with this kind of uh, this kind of comment which is actually a normal laravel comment so here we can find error bag and inside error bag we have a new comment and the new comment field is required in that way we are having this error cool but you know with this laravel live wire we have a real-time validation also that's super easy and that actually work whenever we update the field so whenever we type something here and hit enter it's giving a request but what we need actually if I remove this lazy part from here so it will going to give Ajax request every keystroke so send Ajax and I need to refresh the page okay so send Ajax and you can see it's giving six axios request or Ajax request here and this is going to make our validation real time because now every time we have something on the update something some update on the component then this updated hook is going to trigger there are many hooks lifecycle hooks for the components which is uh, mount we have already used the mount then hydrated updating updating particular field then updated that means it is updating done and the finally updated for everything okay so in our real-time validation in our real-time validation we can use this updated let's use it just above add comment we can have this and we need to use the same validation and the same validation will be like here it is required that means now whenever I make changes in our form input field it will send an actual request and that will validate so this should be not going to give because as soon as I type it's filling it but as soon as I hit backspace and if I am not giving anything you can see it has given the a simple error which is because of this Ajax request and again if you want to limit the actual Ajax request you can simply use dot d bounce bounce dot 500 millisecond so every 500 millisecond it's going to send the request so now get back and yeah so just three Ajax request but lots of keystrokes next big thing I need to show you is what if I give big text and we need to prevent that this should not be the case so again we have the validation and we can add max of 255 let's say this will be the case refresh this page paste it and try to add it says new comment may not be greater than 255 
and let's make this also a real time because now I can make this same max 255 here refresh the page and then as soon as I paste and you can see as soon as I paste it it's giving error and when I try to remove some and yeah there is no error and if I cross the limit of 255 like here <laughs> how I can cross I need to give long text and yeah I crossed it so now we have the real-time validation error and every time we hit a keystroke we are going to send a actual request with the data it's normal thing but because we have this on the updated field we are getting this real-time validation Thank you.